Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Starting off today with a look at the solar flare classification chart, showing the last three days of activity. Just here, is a Class M 1.14 class flare that erupted on the 29th, at 11.30 p.m. The yellow bar shows the threshold, of the M class area, as the flare is observed slightly peaking above. Now we'll take a look at the solar flare activity from the 29th through the 30th, on the LASCOC2 filter, showing the M class flare as it erupts showing a halo effect. Now seen using the ink filter. Flares observed expanding into space on the LASCOC3 filter, 29th through the 30th. On this CME chart, which shows 6, CME from the 29th through the 30th, the 18th CME is the partial halo M-class solar flare, that occurred on the 29th at 11.36 pm. Up next is the path of the M-class flare, on the CME model. As you can see it is Earth-bound, and looks to make contact with Earth on February 1, after passing Mercury and Venus, also SO-10 and the stereo satellites would receive a dose of solar radiation, and wind. Speaking of wind, on this WSIENLIL solar wind prediction model, the solar wind, plasma and velocity intensity, is predicted from January 28, to February 4. Today, the solar wind velocity is a bit higher, as you can see the rotating green arm of solar wind, reaches the Earth on the ecliptic plane. On this model you can see the pressure on the Earth's magnetosphere today, showing moderate pressure. Up next is a model of the geoelectric field, showing the effect of the geomagnetic activity on the U.S. today. This model shows a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, which is a bit higher in the upper mid-U.S. and the eastern U.S. There are more Earth-facing coronal holes at this time. On this HMI intensity gram map, five sunspot regions are shown on the Earth-facing side of the Sun, region 2936 is Earth-facing today. Here is a view of the planets from Earth facing the Sun this morning. Now a magnified view of the alignments of the Moon, Venus and Mercury. Tonight, the Moon will be in the waning crescent phase. 4% illumination. This is the position of the planets in the solar system today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. 